Have you ever wondered why ostriches bury their heads in the sand? Well, hold on to your feathers because this common belief is nothing more than a myth. The origin of this myth is quite fascinating. Observers in the distant past might have seen ostriches putting their heads near the ground and jump to conclusions. But what was really happening? Well, female ostriches, those responsible for creating the nests, are often seen with their heads near the ground. But they're not hiding. They're tending to their eggs. They create a shallow hole in the ground for their nests. And during the incubation period, they'll often turn and rotate the eggs with their beaks. From a distance, it could look like they're burying their heads in the sand, but they're simply making sure their future chicks are developing just fine. Now, ostriches are not oblivious to the world around them, quite the opposite. These birds are incredibly vigilant. When a threat approaches, instead of sticking their heads into the sand, they lie low, pressing their long necks against the ground to blend in with the terrain. It's not about hiding their heads, it's about making themselves less visible to predators. So what's the real deal with ostrich behavior then? They're far from the cowardly head-burying birds of myth. Ostriches have keen eyesight with large eyes that help them spot danger from afar. And if they need to make a quick exit, they're among the fastest runners in the bird kingdom, reaching speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. And those nests we talked about? While the female ostrich does use her beak to care for the eggs, she's always on high alert. This natural nesting behavior has likely been misunderstood and led to the myth we know today. As we wrap up, remember that ostriches don't bury their heads in the sand. They're incredibly adapted creatures designed for speed and vigilance. By debunking these myths, we not only correct misconceptions, but we also gain a greater appreciation for these remarkable birds and their unique behaviors. So next time you hear someone mention an ostrich with its head in the sand, you can tell them the real story.